Welcome everyone. Today we'll have another big discovery with the game. And this time you can make so much gold, I don't even know where to start. So this is one of the islands that you can come at tier 2. And you can start farming this at tier 2 with the keys. And then when you, once you reach tier 3, you can buy those boxes. So remember those boxes? Those books are sellable. So you can sell those for 200 gold each, and that's 1000 gold here. On top of that, you also get the purple books. We'll check the price very soon. You can get purple books and also legendary books if you get to 1415, which is a little far away. But also, you can get tier 2 and also tier 3 life lip stones and also honor stones. So let's check the price of those items and then I'll tell you guys how to get those and how does this work. This is actually pretty amazing, right? So let's just check the engravings. So remember, you can get the legendary ones, right? So the legendary ones for any class you can select is 20,000 gold. And that's pretty good, but we're not rushing to the legendary yet. So if you get any of the class selections, so let's have a look at this. Any of the class selections is about 1,300 gold. So we believe we get about two or three of those books. And also if we check the blue ones, I'm just price checking to see, to show you guys what we get out of this. Now, sadly, my internet wasn't very stable, but and I can't get into the game anymore, but I do have some recordings. So currently, with the market price, the Honor Leapstone sells for 437 gold. I do, I do believe the Life Leapstone sells for 187 gold. And with this particular exchange, over here, you can see that we can exchange 50 of those Leapstones each. Now, keep in mind, this only opens up at Tier 3, so the Tier 2 Leapstones are not that important on your main account. But if you get the tier 3 leapstones, which are massively value, you can easily get 20,000 gold worth of value just from the leapstones. And you also get 5 blue books, which is 1,000 gold you can sell. You also get 3 of the purple books over here, which is about another 4,500 gold. So in total, once you reach tier 3, if you come to this island, you can easily get 25,000 gold just by getting the item. So 20,000 worth of materials at tier 3 and 5,000 gold to sell in the auction house or the marketplace with the class engravings. Of course, you don't have to sell them. You can keep the purple ones because they're really rare, but you can sell the blue ones for sure for a 1,000 gold bonus. Now, we can also exchange for this legendary particular skill gem over here, and which is actually very strong for most of the DPS classes, I was told. So this is 3,600, but initially, I don't think I have enough to exchange for this. I'm not sure how to use it this at the moment, but if you guys do want this, you can also exchange for this item for 3,600. So within a day, I got 1,200 of those particular little exchange items. So this is a really, really good farm, and you definitely want to start this once you're tier 2. So this island is called Anguish Island, and you can come to this island after you get to tier 3. But this one thing that I was told, so one of my viewers told me about this, so it's that you can come to this island while you are tier 2. You don't have to be 1100 to start this island. And on this island, what you're going to encounter is, you're going to encounter some yellow quest. It's a chain yellow quest. And once you finish the chain yellow quest, it will give you a daily quest. Now the daily quest on this island is pretty straightforward. It asks you to collect items or kill monsters for 100 count. And once you have completed this, you'll be given a special dungeon key. So over here you can see this is one of the special dungeon keys that you can use for the tier 3 dungeon. So the dungeon opens up at tier 3, but the biggest thing is you can come to this island when you are tier 2 and start doing the daily quest. Each of the daily quests will give you one of the dungeon keys. And once you collect a lot of dungeon keys, you can do a bunch of those dungeons once you are tier 3 and get tons of those exchange materials for those items. So coming back to the shop over here, you'll be getting the Corrigion skin. So those little red balls, you'll be getting a lot of those by doing the dungeons. And those are the items we'll be using in the exchange shop next to the dungeon entry. So over here, I'll give you guys a quick briefing of this particular dungeon. You can enter this once you're 1100 gear level. So it is not a difficult dungeon. I wasn't, you know, top tier 3. I was still 1200 at the time by doing this dungeon. It is a very short dungeon. It only takes about 5 minutes. Now, once you get to the final boss, it is actually quite easy. But there's one thing you want to note. You can do a hidden quest over here as well. There's a hidden mechanic that you can do for once, only for a count, I believe. So there's only one quest. So what you want to do is, when a boss spawns those little explosive monsters, you don't kill them, you lead them up here. And if you get four of them to explode the gate over here, you open a secret path. And this will give you a hidden quest. So there's a small additional bonus 
So over here, let me show you guys. So once the boss goes into a phase, she will summon monsters. You want to lure the monsters over here to the gate so they explode down the gate. Be careful though, those monsters hit very hard. And over here you saw that I died. So you want to get four of those monsters to explode on the gate. So let me go a little over here. So once you get all four monsters to explode on the gate, you will open up the door. And once you go into the door, you get to kill a little monster. And upon killing this little monster over here, you will be able to get a hidden quest. So you can get this item once you kill the monster. And this is like a little bonus for the first time you do it. You get about 300 at the start and you can follow this quest. So this is a little bonus once you do the boss. You can only do this once though. The downside is if you go into the zone and come back, the boss will reset. Just be careful with this. But it's a very easy dungeon and you do want to collect those keys at tier 2. So you can farm this at tier 3. Over here you can see me killing the boss and getting a ton of loots over here. So the loots the boss drop are the exchange currency shop items. So the loots over here are the little red balls over here. So what I show you guys is it's over here. So you can see that those are the little red balls that's used for exchange. So just to give you guys a recap of what is happening. So what you want to do is you want to come to the Anguish Island once you're tier 2. What I was told by the viewer is that if you come to this and once you're tier 2, you can actually start to do the golden chain quest. And once you finish the golden chain quest, you unlock the, the daily quest. And by unlocking the daily quest, you'll be speaking to this NPC and she will ask you to kill monsters. And once you kill those monsters, you will collect this special purple key once a day. Now you cannot do the dungeon unless you're tier 3, but you can collect as many keys as you can, and then you can get into the dungeon and do it once you're tier 3. And this will open up a lot of more resources, because the dungeon needs a key to enter. And you guys can see over here, each of the entry of the dungeon requires one key. And the most important thing for tier 2 and tier 3 player is, to do this daily quest every day, get the keys, and when you're free, each of the dungeon runs only takes 5 minutes. It is very quick and very straightforward. So very easy dungeon. And this gives a lot of materials, and this will give you a lot of value. Now before we finish this video, I want to give a big thank you and credits to Zeo's Ambition for sharing this information. So my viewer who told me later, he told me he found this from Zeo's. And because he's also a Lost Ark content creator, I want to, you know, you know, just tell you guys this is where the information came from. I'll have the link of his video available in the description below. And I do recommend coming over to have a look at his video as well. He also talked about this boss also drops one additional material. So definitely check out his video. This boss that you'll be killing drops a special collection item that unlocks more skill points. So just you know, make sure you farm this monster because not only does she drop those collection items for a lot of exchange for massive value, she will also drop some of the end game item that you'll be looking for to gain more skill points. So big thank you for Zeus for sharing this one. And because this works for tier 2 players, you can come to do your dailies. And once you're tier 3, you get a boost of gold and also boost of tier 3 mats, which are very, very rare. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel, make sure you do so because we'll be getting a lot of guides, a lot of tips as I discover them, and I love the game. So I want to share as much as I can with you guys, and let's have a great time in Lost Ark as we explore this game and get the most out of it.